jumping to an exact coordinate when we're um, graphing a function. So we'll pop into graph and table, or we could do this in main, it really doesn't matter. Um, and we'll type in our function. So here we go, x to the power of two for a simple parabola, tap execute, it's selected. So we're ready to begin. And then we tap onto our draw graph icon. Uh, if I hit resize, there's our graph. Now, maybe I'll zoom in a bit just to see um, uh, sort of the lower. Oops, I should have selected the zoom tool first. Here we go. We'll zoom in a little bit on this part of the graph. So um, now maybe we want to get to exactly 1.1 because when we use the old analysis trace tool like this, it starts off at 0 0.2. But as I tap go right, you can see the increments here really aren't very pleasant. It's very hard to get to exactly maybe uh, the point 1.1 where x is 1.1 um, going by these increments. And they're reflected if we tap onto the view window settings by the dot setting here. If the dot settings are not a nice integer, then we're not going to get very nice increments when we trace. So we'll cancel that. So how do we get to exactly 1.1? Well, it's that pretty easy. When we are in trace mode, remember we've either tapped analysis trace or we've tapped onto this icon here, the XY one. If we then just go to the keyboard and type in one, instantly up comes the uh, enter value, the X value box. If I complete it with 1.1 and tap OK, Classpad jumps straight off to 1.1 and gives us the Y coordinate of 1.21. And this same method can be used when you're using some of the other tools such as analysis, sketch, and we're trying to draw a tangent in. And we want to maybe draw a tangent into this curve when X is um, 0 0.5, say just over here. Tracing kind of takes us around there, but the easiest way again is simply to hit 0 complete it with 0.5, tap OK, class pad jumps straight to that point and then we can hit execute to actually draw the tangent and get the equation in down there. If we wanted to go to a point on the graph to find um, where the Y coordinate maybe was 1.5 and we wanted to know what the X coordinate was, then we can use analysis G solve and we've got the X cal, Y cal. Now what we've just been doing is using the Y cal but if we choose the X cal, it wants the know of Y. Oh, we've got two functions going, so classpads alerted us to that fact. It's flashing, I want to go on the parabola, so I choose it with execute. And now we say when the Y coordinate is 1.5, say, tap OK. And it's taken us to where the Y coordinate is 1.5, and here's the X coordinate at that point.